right, ladies and gentlemen, now the fourth installment of our quarterfinals. Fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the black trunks with the green trim, weighing in at 145 pounds. He trains at Hard Knocks Muay Thai. With a record of nine wins, seven losses. Coming down from Boston, Massachusetts. Julio Pena! And fighting out of the blue corner tonight. He's wearing the white trunks with the purple trim. Weighing in at 148 pounds, he represents Seton Jim with a record of 11 wins, four losses. From Queens, New York, Joey the Bronxdale Aaron, if you look at these two fighters, Joey Hernandez, he's the taller fighter, the heavier fighter, the longer reach fighter, the more experienced fighter. Julio really has you know, a lot to make up here. Yeah. And when you're, when you're the shorter fighter, you really need to stay at your length, not at the taller fighter's length. The power in your punches, the power in your kicks are at the end of your shots. So Julio really needs to put the pressure on Joey to keep him at the end of his own shots. Here we go, round one. Julio coming out, very traditional style. Yeah, arms wide, palms out, very traditional. Both fighters working the legs early. Joey Hernandez is looking to set that left hook up. When you have a high guard like Julio Pena does and a more relaxed guard like Hernandez does with the arms, just that slight difference, you know, allows Joey to throw his punches a little bit snappier. Yeah, definitely. It's more of a hand combination kind of guy. So both fighters in the clinch now, both working. Nothing, no real damage on either side of them. Um, Looks like we have a little bit of a malfunction with the ring here. Corner part, pad was coming apart. So they've got to fix the corner post. Both fighters are playing it smart. Hernandez is throwing really solid punches, both working the legs. Pena was working the clinch inside to neutralize some of that size advantage that Hernandez had. Pena but was doing a great job. He was like, he's doing exactly what I said. He was staying at the end of his own shots. Hand to leg combos, not allowing Joey to get off real well. Um, after this, Ring malfunction gets taken care of. Let's see what happens. And it was just the corner cushion. That's the only thing that came a little unsnapped, and they're, they're taking care of it. They're putting some tape on it right now. Looks like one of the uh, straps broke off of it. Yeah, sometimes the ring is not as tough as the fighters. Both guys get an opportunity to get a little bit of, of a breather, start thinking about, okay, after first contact, what am I going to do now? Yeah, they, they've seen what each other has, so you can see Joey in the corner. He's, you can see him really thinking right now. You know, Julio's going to look to come out and just continue on what he was doing. From where I'm sitting, I can see uh, Joey Hernandez has got a nasty welt on his left shin. Yeah, that, that, that's from uh, checking those kicks. Bogdan kicks, hits a knee, throws his own kicks, hit a knee. That's the kind of injury that really adds up. You go in the back. He wins this fight. He goes in the back. Yeah, he doesn't uh, feel that right now. Well, but if you look at Pena, too, he's got a bloody right shin. So here. now we're starting to see where the contact came from. Ah, Both guys are it. injured. Pena threw that kick, and Joey blocked it, and oh, here we are. Right. You don't feel that right now. You know, right, right now, nobody feels that. As the fight goes on in the second, third fight, they're definitely going to feel that. That's definitely going to come into factors. Wow, that break really gave these guys both a shot of energy. They're coming out strong. Really nice knees in the clinch. Yeah, these fighters are working good in the clinch right now. Both hitting, both scoring with solid knees. 
Payne is landing with more with his knee where Hernandez is hitting a little bit more with the thigh above the knee. But he, again, Hernandez is controlling with the forward pressure where you know, the judges tend to look at that a little bit more. This, this, this was a great draw for both of these fighters. Yeah, horrible draw for them for the first fight, though. This, yeah. was, this, this is a great final fight. This, this, this is the fight you want to see in the end, something like this right now. Yeah, but these that, fighters are bringing it, so hopefully they can keep this going. Great, great round, great round. Here we go, round two. Both fighters are battered, but still game. Who wants it more? Let's see, let's see. Uh, really smart fighting on both the, guys' part. Yeah, let, let's see how many right kicks Julio Pena's throwing with that gash on his shin. And Joey's looking to hit those knees. He knows his shin's hurt. He's getting in that clinch, hitting those big knees. This is a game plan Joey wants, just to stay in that clinch and score hard knees. Both are actually fighting to their strengths. Pena is trying to neutralize that reach with a clinch. Hernandez is using his size with powerful knees, using really good shots to work his way in. Nice low kick, good left hook, a lot of pressure. Yeah. Right in that. Joey's staying right on Julio. He's not giving him an inch. Good plan by Joey. See, now he's got that giant shin bump. Painter's getting roughed up in the clinch a bit right now. Nice counter, good knee to the body. He's still game, but starting to breathe a little heavier. Every clinch is coming out, looking a little bit more tired. Yeah. Joey yeah. scored oh, big beautiful knee. knee. Beautiful. Two knees, one to the body. I think that second one got through the head. This might yeah. be it. And, and Joey's been setting those knees up. He's been trying to get that knee in. And Pena's down. This, I don't know. This, this, this is, is it. it. He's not answering And this. the fight's over. There we go. So Joey Hernandez is the only fighter to not go three rounds in the quarterfinals. He didn't take a lot right, more damage and to that shit. One minute and 27 seconds into round two, we have our winner, representing Queens, Joey the Brockton Hernandez. All right, so the semifinals has been figured out.